You're watching NTV tonight. Let's start off with a statement from the fourth uh, of the office of the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya. That's His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, who has reacted and sent a statement to the news. We'd like to read that statement now for you. And it starts with, my fellow Kenyans, I come to you with a heavy heart, saddened by the loss of lives, occasioned by the current situation prevailing in our country. In the rights, it's a right of every Kenyan to protest as determined by the Constitution as promulgated in 2010 Constitution. It's also the duty of the leader to listen to those they lead. He goes on to say, at this trying time for our country, I want to remind all leaders that they were elected by the people. Listening to the people is not a choice, but a mandate enshrined in the principles of our constitution and in the very basis and philosophy of democracy. Leaders must know that power and authority they have is donated to them by the people. I therefore call for calm and for the leadership to show restraint and do the right thing by listening to the people and not to be antagonistic to them. Violence on either side is not the answer. He goes on to say, as your former president, I have felt the weight and the difficulty of leading Kenya. I therefore pray for wisdom and civility to be established and for peace and progress for being to all of us as children of Kenya. The, pre uh, the former president says, Dear Kenyans, I stand with you and I ask our leadership to embrace dialogue and speak to the people and not at the people. I pray for peace and understanding on the part of each and every Kenyan and for all of us to remember that Kenya is bigger than one of us. There is nothing cast in stone that cannot be changed. We finished by Celeste Kenya.